Hello again, Arul. Your hair looks Hi. very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we're running a coaching program together uh, in India in January, in Chennai. Uh, so that's very special. And um, I was just thinking about how special it is that you're doing that, we're doing that together. Because I remember right back to the very first time when I ran a course uh, in India and you were in the group. And I remember that Colin Spencer, my husband, had a ponytail and people looked at him a bit strangely because of that. But you were the one that said, oh, why are you got a ponytail? And I think that really characterizes you, that you're prepared to speak out about the things like what we say, the elephant in the room. And I think that's so fundamental to coaching, to be able to be prepared to say what a lot of people might be thinking, but not have the words or the love with which to say it. And I think that changed the whole tone of that course, because it brought a fun element and a truthful element to the whole process. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, this is the first time you're talking about this in this particular way. So I'm just, um, I think, why did I say, how did I say what I saw in Spencer? Um, I was a fan of Andre Agassi, the tennis player. So he had this ponytail. And... Uh, <laughs> I liked Agassi. And then I saw Spence who had this. And um, I think that was a wonderful way to build a conversation with Spence. Um, the rapo and to break the ice and, um, you know, because there was something very core of him, how he looked. And yes. uh, I think I complimented on that. And uh, the connection happened. I think that's what you do, that you, you connect with the core of people. And I think that's fundamental to coaching. And I also think you've got the qualities. You met Frank Farrelly. You came to the UK and had a session on the provocative uh, coaching program. And you have that quality of raising awareness with, um, with fun, provocatively, but with love in a very caring way. That's, some people miss that, and that's going to be one of the dimensions that we include on the coaching program, and I think you, you embody that in the way that you are with people. Yeah, I think that has been a tremendous, it's, it, kind of, it has been a breakthrough, I would say. Um, you know, in my context, what I have known earlier, um, a joking, in the a joke is a joke, training is a training, that's what I had been, I had experienced. Right. Um, um, you can have humor, but only for the purpose of humor in a training. Uh, whereas here, increasingly what I saw in you and uh, Frank and all that, humor as a way to heal, uh, humor as a way to bring someone's awareness. And um, so that was seen as, um, it's, it's like, it's, uh, it does magic. It does magic. Uh, the, so I have encountered lots of serious moments where I joked and the person who was, um, you know, not in a not okay, was in a not okay state, came into a okay state, smiled, had a big laughter, the whole classroom went laughing. Um, it was amazing just to have that um, humor into the coaching context. Absolutely. It works wonders. It absolutely yeah. does. It just changes well. The principle is that people can't stay stuck in their thinking if they laugh about things, if they're able to laugh at themselves. And, and you have a way of bringing that to groups. So it's going to be, amongst many things, such fun, that program in January. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Me too. <laughs> okay. <laughs>